Hi YouTube friends, Chris here again. Today I will be unboxing a Diamond Art Club. I had to have this as soon as I seen it. I was thrilled. Um, so <laughs> I really tried to hesitate when I first seen it and when it first came out because I was like, oh, it's expensive, it's huge, it's another square. But I had to, I just, I really had to do it because it's from an artist I absolutely adore. He has had, this is his third canvas with Diamond Art Club. The, fir the first one, well, one of the first, I don't know which was the first one, but I believe the first one, um, I have on pre-order and that will come probably in a few weeks. It's a, um, I call it Cabin by the Lake. I don't know what the exact title is, but it's really pretty. The second one I think was one of um, an out, um, a scenery scene in Venice, I believe. And this one is called Cobbled Bridge Cottage. It's by Dominic Davison. It's just exquisite. It is huge. It's a 98 by 70 centimeters, which translates to 38.6 by 27.6 inches and let's get right into it shall we so i didn't want to get another one because or at least i should say i didn't want to buy another first of all i'm trying to go on a no buy but also i have so many i have a handful of squares i probably have close to 10 almost now and while I don't mind squares, I don't hate them, certainly. I enjoy doing them. But, well, I shouldn't use enjoy. I, I have an okay time doing them. They, to me, they're more work than fun or relaxing. I do tend to get in a mode more with squares, though, where once I get on the roll, I kind of like to keep it going. Because I, I kind of have to keep in a certain mode when I'm doing squares. Whereas rounds, I can or rhinestones you can just do any time and it's like it's not an issue for me when squares it the hardest part of it is at the beginning to get after the first two days I'm okay but the first two days are really hard getting into the square and after that I kind of like to do larger areas so I actually I'm able to get them done in a fairly good amount of time because I don't do tiny areas with squares whereas rounds I could do an area half this size or I could do this you know the whole sheet size whereas with a square I tend to do somewhere probably this size or maybe a little bit bigger because I, I just that's just how my mind works for whatever reason so here we have the little sticker that they give you and of course this is the beautiful diamond painting And this is the sticker sheet the with the um, symbols and codes and all that. There's 54 colors and there are three ABs. Okay. Now you see the strip I was in this, so it will not come this way if you why. <laughs> I don't have a need to go through this even if you're just watching this for the first time. Every diamond painting you get from any company will have a toolkit which will have a dime, a pen, an applicator, a pen, wax, um, a tray to put your diamonds in, and if it's square usually you'll have the tweezers. And we have two bags of course because they're square and it's huge of diamonds so just the right way are you ready this will not fit in the screen but here we go starting from one side oh 
Okay, that's a little better. So he, this is obviously the left side. Here we have trees, the bridge down here, some flower beds. Then as we move along, the bridge continues. And then we get to the beautiful, exquisite house. Look at that. I mean, the detail on this is fantastic. We even have little ducks down here. A duck, another duck. We have a table and chairs over here. Right there. We have some, some little birds in the sky in the back. More trees. And right at the end, we have more flower down here. We have a beautiful pink tree up in here. Again, trees in the back. I mean, this, the, 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 honestly, this is it probably in the top five. And I haven't even obviously completed this or started it. I just got this. Yes. Uh, what was it yesterday? Yes. Yesterday, which was a Tuesday. September 15th, I, 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 uh, this came, uh, this is, this is the design of it, the, the clarity of it, again, because it's probably because it's so big, the clarity, that's what makes it so beautiful. I mean, it, it's gorgeous just looking at it without even applying diamonds. I really can't wait. Now, this will not be done anytime soon. Usually, a lot of people say when they notice in the boxings, they're like, well, I want to do this, but I won't be able to get to it. I never say that because I never know what I'm going to do next. But I can guarantee you, this will not be done for a quite some time. I have now a stash of diamond paintings. I have a plan of at least five or six when I want to do the, of the ones I want to do, you know, fairly soon. Um... And this will not be done for some time. Probably, not, certainly not until way next year. But I, it's definitely, again, I, I'm just like kind of stunned at the beautiful quality of it, the gorgeousness of it. I, I can't wait to do it, honestly. I really can't. It's going to drive me crazy being so big in a square, but... The end result is going to be magnificent. All right. And like I said, this is definitely in the top five of the favorite dime paintings I've bought, whether it's from a company that sells them like this, I'm in our club, or from customs. I've had done, d this is fantastic. Okay, now let's just quickly, I'm not going to, again, not show you all of them. Because that's a little tedious and we don't need to see every single color. I like to show more the rhinestones because, I don't know, they, I guess because they appeal to me the most that I want to show them more of the, them off than the regular colors, but... Again, this is a beautiful, beautiful light blue. And we have tons of greens, of course. We have some browns, some tans, more greens, light greens, dark greens, in between greens. We have some pinks. This here is the pink AB. is a little hard to see even in person honestly as much as I love Diamond Art Club this pink is kind of a little subpar with the AB and everything uh that's another reason why this won't be done anytime soon is eventually I will get some more not I'm not going to put too many AB extra ABs in this but I will probably get some more at some point but that's something I have to sit down and think about what I'm going to put and where. I just don't buy every color and then decide. Uh, it's too expensive that way. I kind of want to know what I'm going to do with the colors, with the ABs, before I buy them separately from a company. 
you know that sells them so and that'll take a while like I said and I have to do that with my other square paintings as well so okay now again tons of blues and greens pretty again white here's the other another AB this is a, a I wouldn't say it's a neon green but it's verging on neon and it kind of to me looks a bit neon in the camera but it is a very bright greenish yellow and some whites and more blues so that's package one Now that was the smaller one. This is the larger one. Again, now we have more darker greens. Uh, not so. <laughs> Just looking at this one, this is not that. <laughs> looking at it is not a nice green, but I'm sure on the painting it's going to be pretty. But we have some browns, dark forest greens, some light green. We've got a couple very bright, pretty reds. Again, more green, green, green. Some oranges and pinks, yellow, a little purple there, and there's a tiny bit of blue AB. That's a very tiny bit. <laughs> Probably only a couple of spaces for them, but again, I always like to or I want to customize it a little bit more from what they gave. Okay. So there we have it. The Cobbled Bridge Cottage. I'm not going to bring that back out because it's so big. But again, here it is. The artwork. Okay, guys. I hope you enjoyed this. Like I said, I'm just so excited to when I'm able to actually do this and finish it. It's going to be a centerpiece, that's for sure. Okay, thank you all for watching. Stay safe, stay happy, and I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.